Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is going to be an eye look with the Alamar palette. I got this in my BoxyCharm uh, this last month, and I did a like a small little look when I did the unboxing, but I want to dip back into this palette today and try to do something a little bit more creative. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get into this, and I'm going to start out with this Morphe it's a tapered blending brush and I'm gonna dip back into that yellow and use that again as a transition color and so anyway just go ahead and lay this down and I want to try to do something with these greens something a little bold and unconventional Summertime, we gotta have some sea greens and some emerald greens and some turquoise and get some beachy looks going here. So I know some of you girls out there have this palette and you're wondering what in the world should I do with it? There's lots of pretty colors, but how do I put all this together? So anyway, I really like this mustardy yellow. It's called Coco Taxi. And I like this for the transition because it's the lightest matte that's in the palette. So anyway, we got that laid down. All right, now I'm going to go into um, I want to go into this green called Celia. Celia, and if you have this palette, notice that there's a little, like a little wet drop right here beside these top four these shimmers and that means you can apply them wet anyway let's try this with the with the dry brush and see what I can get going here I used to wear a color like this all the time when I was a teenager. I just loved it. And I can't remember who made it. It was either Maybelline or CoverGirl 1. And it was just a single eyeshadow. And it was like my very favorite and I wore it every single day to school. And I really didn't know how to wear eyeshadow other than to put it on the lid and maybe uh, just a little bit above, but I never did go into the, any of this upper part at all. It was just a simple little sweep across the lid, and you know I have these hooded eyes, so I probably, you know, I probably went right up into the lower part of the crease as well. So that's pretty, isn't it? And it's a pretty shimmer. I just love this little palette. It says volume one on it, so that makes me think that there's going to be a volume two. I need to get on that website and check it out. So anyway, the gal that created it, she works for BoxyCharm. Her name is Gabby. And this is her like a launch palette from her makeup line, her, the launch of her makeup line, Alamar Cosmetics. And so, all right, so we got the make-ins here, something really nice with these greens. Let me just put a little more, try to keep it looking even. Beautiful. All right. Now I'm going to take another little Morphe brush. I use this one all the time. It's, it's a thinner tapered brush. And I'm going to dip down into this, this really pretty teal. It's called Vadadero. <laughs> I roll my R's like a real Spanish person. 
like a real Cuban, like a real South American. All right, and I'm just gonna go deeper into the crease. Oh yeah. Isn't that pretty? Woohoo! These blends so easy, so, so easy. And smoke out so nice. There is a bit of fallout, as you can see there. I'll have to clean that up. So I'm kind of holding my brush a little bit different on this side. Seems like everything I do on this side of my face, from eyeshadow to mascara or whatever, I'd want to hold the brush different. And I think it's because my left arm has to cross over to the right side of my body. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I'm left-handed, and so I have two choices when I'm writing on paper. I can either turn the paper where it looks like I'm writing straight up and down, or I can crook my arm around like this. And I've done it both ways. People say, well, why do you have to do that? Well, this is my answer. When you're right-handed, you know, your body, you, we write from left to right, so your, your arm is moving, you know, from the closeness of, of the inside of your body outward. And so it, the flow is really easy. But when you're left-handed, you know, you have no place for your arm to go. So it's kind of hard. <laughs> ah. Anyway, y'all like my answers. Okay, now, let me switch brushes again. I'm gonna get this flat packing brush. And I'm gonna go into this really shiny one called El, El Malacone or something like that. Anyway, it's a really pretty gold. And I am gonna wet my brush for this. And so I have some Pro Fix from Makeup Revolution here, and I'm just gonna wet my brush, and then I'm gonna dip down into this palette, and we're gonna pack this on the lid. I'm gonna get this gold shimmer going. And wow, will you look at that? That is a beautiful gold. Amazing. Pop. Gives you a pop. A nice shiny pop. That is so pretty. Oh, yeah. So, so pretty. All right, I'm gonna keep that handy just in case I have to come back. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna, I wanna go into that outer corner just a little bit. And I wanna take, let me take this small brush here by IBY Beauty. It's just a little rounded blending brush. But it's pretty dense, but it's small. Anyway, I'm gonna dip in to this dark brown, it's called Cafecito. Just a little bit. I'm just going to kind of dab, dab, dab and just put that in that outer V. And get this corner. Cafecito. just a little bit underneath the lash line just a little at like one third oh yeah 
and give some depth to this look. This is the darkest shade in the palette, so I'm just going to mix it. Mix it with this green and this, this pretty gold. Just bring it underneath the lash line. The inner third. And we're just concentrating in right there in that corner. <coughs> drama mama. Drama mama. Yeah, we like the drama mama. Okay, now I'm going to take this um, dual fiber brush from Luxie. The 131. It's a mini angled brush, and I'm going to go into La Costa, which is this one right up here at the top. And I'm just going to put that right underneath my brow bone. Just to give it a little highlight. That's so pretty. See, that's not even wet and it's just like popping. So, wow. Instant drama. Instant drama. All right, I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Great Lash today. I mean, this blue is so blue. It'd really be pretty on somebody that had uh, brown eyes. But since my eyes are blue, it kind of overpowers the color of my eyes. But when you got eyeshadow this pretty, you know, you really don't mind people looking at the eyeshadow instead of your eyes. bad. Well, you could really bring the drama to this look with lashes and eyeliner and all that. Y'all be proud of me. I wore lashes to church last night. I was a brave soul. I did a real simple eye look. Used some liner. Not liquid liner, but I used like a powder, like a powdered eyeshadow, and I did a liner. It was gorgeous. The look was really pretty. It was really simple and um, subtle and just really, you know, sometimes elegant looks are the most simple ones. And then I did a real pretty peach lip. And then I put on the drama with those lashes. It was all about the cheeks for me last night. Except for those eyelashes. I really played on the cheeks really pretty. I had a good combination going. I should have done it again today, but anyway, I just didn't do it. I did something else. I'm such a variety person. I can't hardly do the same thing more than two or three times in a row. And usually with my eye looks, I do something different every day. Alright. So that is the look. That is the look. I like it. I like it a lot. I need some lipstick, but I will come back. And I will do another video on lipstick. We'll do a lipstick Monday. But anyway, i got to clean up this edge a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Anyway, wow, wow, wow. Look at that. That is amazing. 
So anyway, if you guys haven't picked up this palette, if you, do, if you don't get BoxyCharm, make sure and visit the website. It's called alamarcosmetics.com. Cruelty free. And this is inspired by the beauty and the rich culture of Cuba, the birthplace of Alamar. So these are very pigmented shades. Four of them um, are shimmers and that can have that high shine. And that gold that I use is metallic. And I wet that brush down and so you can see how that just brings everything to life. Okay, well that is it for today. Um, glad y'all came by and watched the video and everything. And so make sure and click like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. And leave me a comment down in the comment section. And I'll leave the link for you guys uh, to get to the website for Alamar Cosmetics down below. And uh, we'll, we'll make sure that you have what you need where you can buy this palette if you decide to pick it up. Okay. Well, God bless you all. Today is my prayer. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.